So for week one, this is what we're going to make. I'm just going to make the head and the neck. And the supplies you need are eight, nine, or 10 millimeter black eyes. You'll need the color of skin that you want for your doll and the color of lipstick or for the lips that you want, I mean, or for the mouth that you want. And um, you'll need your stitch marker. If you have a row counter, you can go ahead and use a row counter. I like the row counter. And we are working with the G hook today. But yeah, this is week one, just the head and neck. Can't forget the neck. Oh, and don't forget, you'll need stuffing. Like this, just some stuffing, fiber fill. And I'm using um, Big Twist four weight yarn for this. It's 100% acrylic. It is machine washable, low iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry clean, dry flat. And it is a medium four weight. So those are the supplies that um, I am using for week one. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this project. You can make a slip knot if you want, or you can just go straight into your chain. Um, there's several ways you can do it. I'm just going to go straight into creating a chain. So there's chain one, chain two. In the second um, chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets in this chain, in the second chain from the hook. So we have one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're not going to join. We are just going to crochet right, continue crocheting all the way around. So we have one, two, see one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to find that your sixth one because you're fixing to put your hook in there. Oh yeah, sorry, but that was um, row one. We're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around. So after you insert your hook in that first stitch, you're going to crochet two single crochets and you'll need to place your stitch marker in that first single crochet that you just made. Now you're going to put another single crochet in that same stitch. And if you want the little tail that you have back here, you can go ahead and crochet that in as you go. So now you have two single crochets, two single crochets in the next stitch. That's one, two, two single crochets in this next stitch. We have one, two, and then just keep doing this in all six stitches. So you will end up with 12 single crochets And here's the last stitch. That was row two. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so now um, for row three, we are going to work a single crochet in that first stitch. Remove your stitch marker. Um, continue working this in if you want to. It makes it a lot easier if you do. You don't have to weave it in later. That's one single crochet. Go ahead and put your stitch marker in there. And that was in the first stitch. And um, two single crochets in the next stitch. That's one, two. Okay, and then the pattern is one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet, and just continue that all the way around, and you will end up with 18 single crochets for row three. There's one, there's two, 
one and two, one and two. That was row three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so for row four, we are going to work a single crochet in the next two stitches. So move your stitch marker, work one single crochet, put your stitch marker back, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then we need two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then we are going to work that same pattern, single crochet in the next two, two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next two, two single crochets in the next stitch, and one single crochet, and then two sing. Hmm. You go back. Yeah, and then one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet, and then two single crochet, and then one single crochet one single crochet, and then two single crochets in the last stitch. Now that should be round four. So for row five, we are going to work one single crochet in the next three stitches, two single crochet, one single crochet in the next three, one sing two single crochet in the next, and that's going to be our pattern for row five. And you should end up with 30 single crochets. So we have one single crochet, place your stitch marker back, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. And now you have two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next three, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And just continue that pattern all the way around to where you end up with 30 single crochets. There's one, two, three, and then two single crochets. And then one, two, three, and then two single crochets. And then one, two, three, and two single crochets in the last stitch. That was row five. Now for row six through 13, we are going to work a single crochet in every stitch around. And you um, will just need to do this, yeah, from row six to 13. And I will get you started and I will meet you at the end of row 13. And just remember there's 30 single crochets. Okay, so there's one and always put your stitch marker at the first stitch of the row. So you'll know where each row uh, starts and ends. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So that was row six. Now you'll continue doing that all the way to row 13. I'll meet you back at the end of row 13. Now that you've finished row 13, for row 14, we are going to work some decrease rows. And what that means is you're just going to single crochet two of your stitches together, just like this. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now you just made one stitch. You took two stitches and made one stitch. So you are decreasing. So now instead of having two stitches there, you've got one. And we are going to do that all the way around to where, to where we have 15 single crochets now instead of 30. So we'll do it again. Put your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Put your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do that again. Just like that. Pull through all three. And if you had to rewind of how I say it in the first two, go ahead. If it's your first time, I do that a lot when I'm learning new stitches. There we go. And so see, this is going into the neck of the doll. Just like that. And we have two stitches left. So we're going to single crochet, crochet those together. Okay, you see how it brought the head? It's starting to bring it down to where it's going to make a neck. Okay, so that was row 14. So for row 15, we are going to work a decrease. Remove your stitch marker. And you're just going to work another two single crochets together just like that. Be sure and put your stitch marker back. And now we are going to work 11 single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now you should have two stitches left and you're going to single crochet those two together. Shift three on the hook, crochet those three together. Now that was row 15. Now for row 16 and row 17, we're just going to single crochet around. So that means you'll have 13 single crochets. So remove your stitch marker. Go ahead and do one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that was row 16. So row 17, we're going to do the same thing. 13 single crochets. Remove your stitch marker. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and 13. <laughs> kind of looks like a balloon. Okay, that's row 17. Okay, so now we're going to insert the eyes and let's put this sort of in the back. Make sure the stitch markers in the back. Now you're going to put them, you can use eight, nine or 10 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and use 10 millimeter. And I want them between row seven and eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so the next one's eight. So they will be right here. And since this is the middle, I'm going to move that over to about right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our safety on here. All right. Now about four stitches across, you're going to put your next one in. So we have one, two, three, four. So you got one, two, three, four in between. Go ahead and put your safety eye on. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our nose on. What you'll need to do is get you a strand of yarn that matches your doll color. And we are going to work um, between nine and 10, so We're going to work between, we're going to skip a row and then work in the next row. So I'm going to skip this row and work right here. And you want it to be between the two eyes. Leave a strand of yarn. And we're going to just kind of do like a wrap. We're just going to work back and forth just like this, between those two stitches. Just enough to uh, kind of give it a little poof to it so that you can see, you know, that it's like a nose. Let's see, I'm going to go like that. You see how it's starting to show a little nose? All right, I'm going to go ahead and insert this will be my last one. Well, then there will be another one on the end part. Just go ahead and put your yarn needle through like that. All right, and then go ahead and weave this um, last strand in and take it across to the other side because you're going to tie a knot on the inside. There it is and see how it looks. All right, so go ahead and turn this inside out some so you can get to it. There they are. 
Yeah, so just go ahead and tie you a knot. There we go. So now you've got your eyes and your nose. And now we're going to make a, a little mouth right here. So take you um, whatever color of yarn you want for your lips. And um, this is really however you want. You could have a one going straight across. You can have one going up. Um, however you want to do it. Let's see. I'm going to have mine like this. You need to leave a strand of yarn. Just like that. And then there we go. It looks pretty centered. And if you want, you can make it a little thicker by just going back. Kind of want my yarn to be, there we go. Just like that. I made the mouth a little bit, a little bit thicker. There we go. All right, so go ahead and take your needle off the yarn and then go ahead and thread your other, your loose one that you've got. And what we're going to do with that is we're just going to insert it like on this side right here so it's not real noticeable. And then we're going to take our yarn, kind of cover it up. Like that. All right, so now you are going to just tie it off. There we go. Now we can go back to making the neck. Now that you've got that your face on there, let's go ahead and do row 18. You're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. So you will have 13 single crochets. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put some stuffing in this little head. So for row 19, we're going to work as one single crochet in the next stitch.
two single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, one single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochets in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this pattern. Let's see. And one single crochet, two single crochets. And it looks like you're going to end with one single crochet. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We have 19 single crochets. That was row 19. So this is the end of day one. This is what you have. And tomorrow, day two, we will put the body on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.